In 2006, a tragic incident took place in Akita Prefecture. Hatakeyama Suzuka, 33 at the time, murdered her nine-year-old daughter by driving her to a bridge several kilometers from their house after school and then pushing her over. When police found the girl's body, they concluded that the girl had fallen over herself and that it was an accidental death. Yet, Hatakeyama herself refused the police's statement, insisting her daughter had been murdered and handing out flyers herself to find her daughter's killer. A month and a half later, a seven-year-old boy who lived two houses down from Hatakeyama went missing on his way home from school. His body was found the next day by a jogger with bruising around his neck. With two children from the same street dead in less than two months, residents soon found Hatakeyama's actions and behaviour strange. She continually flip-flopped on where she was and what she was doing and had no clear alibi for either death. Police eventually arrested the woman and found the young boy's blood inside her house. The very next day, she confessed to murdering him, and a few weeks later, confessed to murdering her own daughter as well. She received life imprisonment for the crimes, but that wasn't the end of the story. While investigations were being carried out, the mass media swarmed the small town Hatakayama lived in to interview the woman and get to the bottom of what was going on. But something captured in the window of the dead boy's house caught people's attention. It was the boy, apparently leaning against the living room window of his house. Only, by this point, he was already dead. The photo was originally published in a magazine before TV stations later picked it up as well. Readers and viewers flocked to the internet to debate the veracity of the photo and whether the photographer had actually managed to capture the young boy's ghost in a photo. There's no denying that it looks like a little boy sitting by the window, but was it really him? This has long been debated on the internet and one of those situations that sees believers wanting to believe and non-believers insistent that it's anything but a ghost. And ultimately, they may be right. As with many ghosts in windows like this, the answer seems to lie with a trick reflection and nothing more. Although the boy's house no longer exists, we can visit the neighboring houses in Google Maps and they seem to match the same pattern seen in the window. There's a layer of brown wood that runs along the bottom of each house in the area, while above that is painted white. This is exactly the same as what's seen in the window. And the boy? Likely one of the many reporters standing outside, also reflected in the window. You can see in the photo published in the magazine that numerous reporters are standing directly outside, and this wasn't even all of them. The low resolution makes it easy to see a small boy crouching by the window, when in reality, it's likely the slightly distorted reflection of a nearby reporter. This explanation is complicated by the fact that the boy's own father has publicly stated that the person in the photo is very much his son. It could be the grief talking, or maybe he wants to believe it, or maybe he really does believe it. If true, it would be the last and final sighting of his son, after all. What parent wouldn't want to see their deceased child one more time? But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.